Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to your Tuesday's Morning Fluency. I'm going to share with you our Morning Fluency for this morning and go through our morning timetable together. So I'm going to share my screen and then we'll go through it together. OK, so for your day for today, after our Morning Fluency, you'll have a go at your phonics video. And then after that, you'll have English with Mr Ladyman. After your English, you'll be doing maths with myself. And then this afternoon, you'll have reading skills with Mr Ladyman. And then PE, which will be Mr Meachin's PE challenge. And then the PSHE with Miss Skembry. OK, so for our morning fluency then. As always, you have your three number sentences for each of those four operations. I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at doing as many of those as you can. OK, hopefully you've had some time now to go through those answers and to have a go at as many of those number sentences as possible. We're going to share the answers together now. So looking at our addition, first of all, 61 add 36 equals 97. 49 add 21 equals 70, 25 add 18 equals 43. Looking at our subtraction, 89 subtract 26 equals 63, 73 subtract 31 equals 42, and 20 subtract 11 equals 9. Multiplication. This first one was a difficult one. 20 multiplied by 10. So that's 20 groups of 10. That equals 200. 8 multiplied by 2 equals 16. And 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. Looking at our division then. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. 30 divided by 2 is 15 and 300 divided by 10 equals 30. Okay, now for our word problem in the centre. Milo the dog has a box of treats with 23 biscuits in. His owner gives him eight. How many does he have left? I wonder which operation you need. And once you've decided that, it would be great to see you writing a number sentence and then the answer. OK, let's share that together then. So the operation you need is subtraction. The number sentence is 23 subtract 8 and the answer is 15. OK, so finally, then let's move over to our word of the day. Our word of the day today is the word peak. Have a think about what that word means and challenge yourself to put it in a sentence. OK, hopefully you've had some chance to look at that word of the day now, so I'm going to share that with you. So if you peep or peep at something, it means you have a quick look at it, often secretly and quietly. So a sentence would be Philip peeped through the window in the classroom door. OK. But I hope you enjoyed our morning fluency this morning, year two, and I hope you continue to have a really lovely day. I'll see you a little later on for maths. Goodbye for now.